This is the NSC DBE November 2022 question paper two. Question two, statistics, still working with statistics. A company conducted research among all its employees on what percentage of their monthly salary was spent in a particular month percentage spent on uh, fuel. The data is represented in the OGIVE, the cumulative frequency graph below. All right, so this is our OGIVE. And our X axis here is percentage of salary spent on fuel. So it's in percentages. And then this is obviously the cumulative OGIVEs or cumulative frequency graphs. Cumulative frequency is, is the frequencies all added together. So it's a, not just normal frequency, it's cumulative frequency is different. How many people are employed at this company? How many people are employed at this company? Well, the percentage of salary is, um, uh, the X is not telling us anything about people. So we look at how many people is, well, it's in this case, it's the cumulative frequency because uh, it's the top amount of people. So we go to where our final, entry and if we just right, kind of okay I can see that it's 60 goes okay, so cumulative, cumulative frequency is 60 therefore there's uh, 60 employees 60 employees number 2.2 write down the modal class modal class so it's the x class where um, has the most occurrences. So uh, usually uh, if you had the mode in, in ungrouped data, if you had ungrouped data, for example, the mode would, if we had something like four, six, six, seven, and the mode is the, it occurs the most is the six, so six is the mode. But the modal class is the is the class, and these are our classes. So, for example, between five and ten is a class. Between ten to fifteen is a class. Fifteen to twenty is a class. So, the modal class is the one that has the most frequency. Modal class has the highest frequency. Highest frequency, and if you look at your OJIVE. This actually, you can do it by inspection. It's simply the, the steepest part uh, of the OGIVE is, is where is our modal class. Um, that's, that's one way to look at it, is the steepest part. Another way is you could take, you could add up sort of the frequency of each. So this frequency here would be uh, six maybe, and then this frequency here, this one between 20, Five is twelve. Oh, so it's twelve minus six. Because remember, it's cumulative frequency. So this this frequency is another six, and so on. This way, obviously, this is not for an exam. You don't have time to do this in an exam. This would be twenty four. Um, so you minus twelve. So there's twelve here, and if we look at this one, mm, forty six maybe. So there would be. 24 minus uh, 46 minus 24, 46 minus 24, 22. So we see already 22 is bigger than all the others. And there's just one more to do here, uh, two more. Well, the top one we can see is really small. We have 60 minus 46. 60 minus 40 is um, 20. And it's like 14. Okay, so we're getting smaller again. So we know that that's uh, the cumulative frequency that has the most uh employees in the, this example so number 20 there's 22 employees so the the modal class so to write your answer you would want to write um your modal class as your x which is your cl class values or x's is between 20 and 25 so we don't write 22 people it doesn't ask how many people it's asked which class are we in and we're in the modal class between 20 to 25.
Number 2.3, how many employees spent more than 22.5% of their monthly salary? So the monthly salary percentages was our X's, so the salary spent in percentage. So you just have to find where is more or less where 22.5 is. So it's between 20 to 25. So halfway is going to be 22.5. And we can just go up to our line. And then it's asked for employees. So we want to go to our cumulative frequency. And our cumulative frequency gets us onto 34. This is 32, each of these is split in five, so they're twos, so that's 34. But that, uh, remember, is our cumulative frequency. You still want, it's asked um, how many employees spent that amount, 22.5 uh, of their monthly salary on fuel. Well, it's going to be the total frequency minus the the cute which is the cumulative frequency minus the 34 so you take 60 minus 34 and that will give you the amount of employees um, which is 26 26 people right 2.4 an employee spent 2,400 rand of his salary on fuel in that particular month. Determine the monthly salary of this employee if he spends 7% of his salary on fuel. Okay, percentage. So first we need 70% of his salary. So his salary was 2,440. He spent 2,000 of his salary. Oh, excuse me. 2,400 rand is the amount he spent so we don't know what his salary is we know that he spent seven percent of his salary on fuel amount spent on fuel so we can make a algebraic equation seven percent of salary on fuel and the amount spent on fuel so we can make an equation. We know that the amount spent on fuel is 7% of his salary. And let's call this salary X. So we know that 7% times by X is 2,400 rand. 7% of, of, of his salary X is 2,400 rand. So if we want to get X on its own to find out his salary, we just divide each side by 7%, or you can divide it by 7 over 100, depending on your preferred method. And this comes to 342.7.1429, and so on. And obviously, money definitely want to round to, oh, that's a 5. You definitely want to round to two decimal places. So there's a 4 here. So we round down. Uh, 34285.71. Check you answer the question correctly. Um, determine the monthly salary. So, the, yes, this is X. So X equals this. X was monthly salary. So, we have correctly answered that question. 2.5, the monthly salaries. Oh, long question. Monthly salaries of these employees re remain constant. So, they stay the same. Okay. Yeah. Same. And the number of liters of fuel used each month also stays the same. If the fuel price increases, so the price of fuel goes up by 21.43 and uh, per liter to 22.79 at the beginning of the next month, how will the OJAV change? Um, well, it's uh, the fuel prices are percentages of salary spent on fuel so the the prices are going to go up so the it'll just be a bit steeper okay the uh, this increase the the fuel increase the fuel increase makes our ojive steeper I think that concludes question two.